All right, we're going to try this one more time. This is like second to third. Like, I want Modern Warfare 2, don't get me wrong, but I ain't paying seven. Every single fucking server is empty as fuck, all right? There will only be one reason why I pay 70. Let's we'll look at our stat, my stats again, see what's changed. Because I've been playing a lot since I reset my stats. I played a lot after. 13 hours on Spy, 7 hours on Sniper, 6 hours on Soldier. So that's funny because before I reset my stats, I was a Soldier main and a Sniper main. And I had not as much time played. It was like maybe my third most played. And Soldier and Sniper were basically tied. But now that I've reset my stats, as you can see, how my playstyle has changed. I'm actually a, a kind of a spy main now than I am Soldier. Soldier is my third most played, which is kind of true because back when I first started playing the game, when I first got good at the game, or not got, first started playing the game, I just played a lot of Soldier because uh, I enjoyed him. He was an easy class to play as. But now... Now that I'm, I guess, more skilled and know how to play the game and how it works, I play less soldier. Because he's just an easy class to play now for me. Like, I'm good enough at him where... Where'd this guy... Oh, great. Box. Well, uh, I guess I'll play as this. I've become a lock and load god. I don't know what happened. I was playing last night. Holy shit, man. I was fucking... Or maybe it was the night before. Lock and load for days. I mean, I was always good at the lock and load to begin with. Oh my god, dude. The lock and load is fun to use. I forgot that I was actually pretty decent with it. Yeah, I'm secretly a god tier lock and load player, though. I, I, I used to use it as my main. See ya, fucker. I tried my best. Yeah, and look at my sniper animations are working wonderfully. I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, time played, I guess. Dude, the dogs are barking. I'm just gonna give it a minute. SHUT UP! Man, medics that just don't know what they're doing. We don't need an Uber. You need crits. We're defense. We don't need an Uber. Two medics. We need crits. This is a crits moment. spammed by a dog shit ass pyro highly skilled highly fucking skilled wow and he's dead Brain dead. Brain dead. Uh oh. Didn't even look to see if there was a fucking sentry there, dude. Said, I'm just gonna run on point. Oh, I need to get a strange kill streak lock and load. I need the kill streak kit, though. The kill streak version's kind of expensive. I need a strange lock and load, dude. I need to get a kill streak lock and load. I didn't think I was this good with it. I remember that it was one of the main weapons I used back when I started playing the game when I did play demo. And I knew that it was just because I was able to hit shots with it because I'm very much a counter strike, you know, aim first person type deal. See ya. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh my god, this demo man's a god. He really just knows when to go in. Simply just team that knows how to play versus team that doesn't know how to play. I'm getting carpal tunnel. No! Get the fuck out of here, dude. Alright, didn't even get the ice kill streak. I went 26. I don't even know. I don't, how many kills did I even get? I didn't die. Holy shit. That was actually crazy. That's probably the best I've ever played at fucking MO Man in my life. I didn't think I was that good with a lock and load, but goddamn. The projectile speed just helps me a lot with it. I hit way, way more pipes with it. Like, it's not like the direct hit where, like, sometimes with the direct hit, I'm just missing everything. Like, I just hit more pipes when I'm using the lock and load. Victory. And we won already. Free Malone.
Matches like this is what makes fucking suffering through everything else worth it. Although this is still kind of shitty. Be better if it's community server because then everybody will stay longer. This lobby's gonna be dead after we actually finish this entire match. Surprise not more people haven't left the other team, but... his only kill. Highly skilled player gets highly skilled kill. Highly, highly skilled gameplay. Nothing in any game I've played in my entire life comes close to how fucking easy it is to play as Pyro than playing as Pyro and getting a kill. Like, I don't know. Like, there, I've never literally played, done anything or experienced or played against anybody where it's been like that. Genuinely. Like, I've played playing against a cheater who has god mode and instant crits. A million times better to play against than a single py fucking pyro. Cause like, yeah, there's not really a high skill ceiling to pyro, but the problem is it's so easy of a class to play that you're going to get at least one kill, even if it's like on accident. Like you can, you physically can't die without getting a kill. As long as you're, as long as you left click at one point, somebody's fucking dying. Like so fucking dumb. I need to piss, dude. Goddamn, the seven-hour TF2 match, quickest match of Dust Bowl in the world. Quickest fucking TF2 game ever. Wow. Maybe I'll just stop it there, dude. Fuck it, a short video for today. I was gonna, oh uh, yeah, I was thinking of making a video of uh, me describing shit. I don't fucking remember what I was gonna, I was gonna do two videos, I don't know. Like how to play TF2, some shit like that. Fucking Mono Warfare 2, Industrial Revolution 2. I hope you have a good evening, good day, good night. I'll see you in the next one.